Your chaos has exploded over the last 12 hours. Um, I am going to tell what happened, purely just to document what happened on this video blog. So, I got a message from Christina, and apparently Troy started calling her a bunch of bad things, like trailer trash, a C-U-N-T, calling her mom a fat C-U-N-T, a bunch of terrible things like that. And Christina wanted to go home. So she you know, was about to leave, and then Troy got her and put her in his car and took her to Patterson so she couldn't get back to her car to get home. And I, all the way up there, continued taunting her. And somehow they ended up back at the apartment where they got in a fight and he took her keys and the phone and she had to wrestle them out from him to the floor and then she ran into a room and he began to barricade the door and she was crying and screaming and yelling and she was trying to get a hold of me. She was trying to get a hold of me on Troy's phone, which I blocked. I blocked his number. She couldn't get a hold of me. But luckily, Sean was there. He was able to save her and hold back Troy. and She was able to get out. And she called the cops. I must admit, I do feel bad. It's generally bad that I blocked his number. Because I could have been there. I could have been there to comfort her. But the best I can do now is to be here to comfort her now. <sighs> Troy has gone AWOL. He has knives and guns. I've seen them. And he is not mentally stable. I fear for my life and for hers and for other people's as well who may be in contact with them. He made various threats to ruin her life, to commit suicide, and other unthinkable threats. I have conversation with her on Facebook in Facebook messaging where she explained to me what happened. I did not go into full detail in this video, but this is purely just for documenting sakes, and I apologize, Will, that I'm using your daily video blog that I'm doing for you while you're on your mission as evidence against him, against Troy, but this needed to be done. And today, after church at 4.30, we are going to be going to meet at MJC. We're going to go to his apartment and get the rest of her stuff. And Brittany, possibly another guy from church, Hiram, and Brother Grimes are all going to go with me. Hopefully, Hiram and Brother Grimes. Oh, and I forgot to mention, he showed up. Troy showed up at her doorstep, stood there for 10 minutes this morning. Remember the other night when I was, you know, crying because I was afraid of Troy? Yeah. I'm afraid. But I'm not going to back down. I'm not going to back down from him. 
I've been watching too much Les Mis to back down from him. And I'm honestly, I'm not afraid to die for my best friend. So, if something does happen, and this is my last vlog, just know that I love you, Will. I'm so proud of you. So proud of you. Good news, I'm alive. And things went smoothly today with Christina. I'm so, so, so proud of her. I mean, she actually showed up to the last hour of church because she knew she needed to be there. And she's getting baptized on Dad's birthday on Saturday. I'm... Today has been a great day. I'm just so happy. And I found out that Andrew finally got his priesthood today. And he called to tell me about it. I was, oh, it's been such an amazing day, and I feel truly blessed. And more than ever, I'm going to be here for Christina because she's not alone. Troy's not going to win. He's not going to win. Mm-hmm. <laughs>